Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing my nails. We are doing an Esther Bunny inspired set and I say inspired because um, it's my first time doing character art and she's definitely a little bit of a knockoff. Like she is <laughs> off brand. Um, but you know, hey, the attempt was made. Uh, this set was Esther the Bunny or Esther Bunny inspired but also high high nail inspired because she posted a YouTube short of her Esther Bunny set and I literally lost my mind and thought about it for like a month straight and then so here I am <laughs> not doing the same but definitely doing a set inspired by the set that she did um yeah so please enjoy this um off-brand rendition of my Esther Bunny nails I am starting off with prep I filed off the design that I had on before and I filed through a lot of the clear layer but I left a little bit which I usually do but it may not work out to my advantage in this set uh, you'll see why uh, things kind of go awry um, but I'm starting off with prep I'm pushing back the cuticles trimming the dead skin and then just filing down my nails because I'm applying extensions today gonna use the gel x a pre gel x extensions um, with a new product uh, I ordered myself the McCart solid nail glue which is basically like a really thick rubbery 3d glue which I've seen so many people use to adhere nail extensions um, and so I thought it was gonna be great and simple like they literally say that the perk of it is you just apply it and you don't have to cure it right away so you can really adjust to make sure everything's straight and even and stuff um which you can but there's a lot more to it than that there's a lot more i would say fighting with the product than maybe it's worth i don't know so i'm just prepping my tips i prepped around the cuticle to make sure that they were shaped for my cuticle i'm etching the inside of the tips um and then I also file the outside of the tip too, just to make sure it's a little bit more thin around the cuticle area. And then I'm wiping down my nails. Um, the product didn't say whether you have to apply a base coat or not, but I just assumed that you do because, you know, would make sense. So I'm going in with the gel bubble rubber base. Um, a thin layer of that I'm gonna apply to all my nails and then cure it before moving forward. You can see my nail buds are really, really long here. They've been growing out. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I maybe had taken off all of, like I left just a thin layer of clear gel underneath, but I kind of wish I had taken it all off just because maybe it would have helped, helped me out. Because <laughs> things really, ugh, this set took me so long. I'll just say that. It was, uh, I was lucky I had patience that night that I was doing it, but I literally did this from like 4.30 p.m. to like after midnight. I mean, mind you, I stopped to watch the Rihanna concert, but you know. So I'm just using the tip and I'm scooping up some of the gel and pushing it in there. And I'm rolling the tip in my thumb in an attempt to stop the gel from squeezing up the sides. But it's like, I'm using a lot of force having to push this down. Like this is not easy. Um, and also these are the medium length sculpted square tips. Like, look at that force I'm putting down to try and move the gel along. It's really hard. Uh, and the thing is, is it's all squeezing at the sides too. So you're applying the tip and it seems to be going well, but then you realize that there's heaps of gel coming out the sides. And I just don't know really how to stop that because um, you can only, if you're applying on yourself, use one hand to push the tip down. So I can't really be squeezing the sides all that much. Um, yeah, so it's it's not easy. I will say I do like the idea of being able to like really look it over and straighten it out before curing it, just hanging on there, but it was an ordeal. I'm not gonna make you watch all of my nails of me doing this because it pretty much looked exactly like this. Me applying nails and then spending like five minutes scraping the gel out of my cuticle and sidewalls. Um, if you have any tips, if you've done this before and it worked well for you, please feel free to let me know. Um, the one thing that I was bummed about too doing this method is I sized my tips pretty well I even left like a little bit of extra space because I was like hey we're using a thick gel today to adhere these um, but the tips didn't fit well after there's like they didn't cover fully like the sidewalls closer to the edge of the tip um, I'll show you that at some point but I think because the gel is so thick 
I don't know, maybe I could have used less, maybe it would have been better. But it just filled up so much space that like the tip just, I couldn't get it to squeeze all the way down anymore. Um, yeah, maybe this is just my first time and it's just not going well. Maybe I need to reattempt. Uh, but it stressed me the hell out for something that I thought was gonna be really easy and nice and fun. And I was like, yeah, let's do this. Like I was telling all my clients that I had these plans of using this gel and how great it was gonna be um, for it to go like this. Not ideal. I like literally threw that product in my drawer after the solid gel and was like, ah! Um, so now after I've cured on all my fingers, you can see got all 10 on, I'm going in with the chemical etch from a prey and just chemically etching the undersides of the tips before I go in with the top coat. Um, if you'll notice actually though, I'm using a effing rubber base right now thinking it was my top coat and you'll see I realized it at one point. I remember applying it and being like, oh, this feels thick, I wonder why. Not looking at the bottle to see if I grabbed the wrong bottle. Um, so I applied the whole goddamn hand. And that's when I realized. <laughs> so I wiped out the stuff on the underside. I could have just cured it and gone over with a top coat, but I wiped it out. Um, and then I, did I cure it like that? Yeah, I wiped it out and then I cured it just because if any little remnants were still in there, I just cure those on. And then I went in with the extreme shine top coat from the gel bottle. Uh, now I'm going around the edges of the nails just to get the sidewalls down. But again, because everything was so thick, like it was really hard to get the sidewalls flush to my nail. Um, really took a lot of effort and I was trying everything. <laughs> I was using hand files, I was using my e-file. It was, uh, yeah, I was doing it all. Just making an attempt. Don't even think I ever got them completely flush. I must have given up at some point because oh, it was a struggle. After I did that, then I went over with my buffer just to buff them up as one does with a buffer. Um, but I really do like having long square nails. Not that these are long, but medium. That's so nice. That's so fancy. Then I'm going with in, going in with this little white funnet gel from Izemi. It's like a white syrup gel. I love a white syrup gel. They're so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with this on all of the nails. I believe I did two coats of that. Curing in between. And then once that's cured, I'm going in with this Show Me Glitter from the, I never know how to pronounce it, Oneric collection. Um, this is my favorite glitter. I think I try and use it as much as possible. It's got like a real rainbow glitter and it's also got like kind of a red mica that runs through it, but it's still very um, soft and fairy-like and very pretty. I love it. So I'm gonna apply a coat of that to all of the nails. And then once that's all cured, I'm gonna go in with my matte top coat. And this I'm doing for two reasons. I will be um, applying airbrush to a couple of the nails, so that's important to have a matte top coat on when you're airbrushing. But I'm also going to be doing some hand painting um, and having a smooth matte surface also helps with that. And you can achieve that by buffing or um, using a matte top coat, but I'm just using a matte top coat. You can see that actually look really cute and matte. Um, those are the colors I'm using. Two yogurt gels and then one the gel bobble. And let the fun begin. This is where I'm going in and painting my knockoff Esther. Um, I mean, it's cute. One of my clients asked if she was supposed to be anxious and I was like, well, uh, no, but I see what you mean. Yes, so this is an anxious Esther bunny. Uh, I'm just going in by starting and drawing the head. And then the little ears. I really did have a lot of fun doing this though. Um, I like to draw up all my sets before in Procreate on my iPad so I like have a mapped out idea of what I'm doing but I also think it helps in terms of just like practicing drawing because I try and draw it in my on my iPad how I would paint it um, to make my life a little bit easier and so I know kind of how to layer things. So that's a hot tip if you have an iPad. 
it's a great way to do it. Get a little practice in. Could have used a little bit more practice, I think, though, on her. Actually, my best friend Vanessa just, um, for my birthday, got me an Esther Bunny doll and a little stuffy. So now she sits in my nail studio. She has little ballet flats on. They're so cute. So just basically painted the shape and then went around and did like little bumpies to make her look cute and fluffy. Now I'm just going in and painting the little bod. I have a little edge of a bod there on the side of my nail. Also, as per usual, my head ends up in a lot of these shots, so I apologize. And that's why there's lots of um, things randomly cut out. Because <laughs> my large head. Um, now just using chocolate from the gel bottle, and I'm going to use this as my outline shade. Look at my brush. I'm using it to my advantage, but it was like split hairs. It was terrible. Uh, I need to soak them in some hot water and repair them. So I outlined her whole body and now I'm just drawing little like little like arms like she's feeling shy or anxious. Um, and then I'm going in and mapping out her eyeballs. So I'm doing, it'll basically look like a brown outline around her eyeballs but just um, for ease I'm drawing the eyeballs out and then I'm going to fill in with white afterwards. <laughs> look at her, so cute. She's nervous. And then I'm just filling in the ears. And again, I'm gonna use the brown base as like more of an outline. Not that one though, didn't like that one. I really wanna get some of the D-gel painting gels. If I wanna get more into character art stuff, I think I gotta do it. And I mean, you saw how beautiful the yogurt gel was, even for, for painting. I feel like the gel bottle gels just don't compare in terms of opacity. But I really want to get some D-gel painting gels. Oh my god, look at those eyelashes! They're so cute! Now I'm going in with some white. This is white painting gel, but it's from Ugly Duckling. It's a very bluey white, actually. Um, so I'm using that and I'm just going to fill in the little eyeballs. And that's a good close-up of my hair. In case you're wondering what my hair texture was like. Not too many split ends. Did just get a trim so that would make sense. Um, I made a mistake. I was just drawing little hearts in her eyes but I forgot to do the outline so she does look a little bit more demonic than I intended. <laughs> it's fine though demonic and anxious. Maybe she's anxious because she's demonic. Um, and then I'm just mixing up some clear and some pink to make her little blushy cheeks. A little, little blushy cheek moment. And we've moved on. I've cured that. And now we're doing little cherries. But these are no ordinary cherries. These are heart cherries. Because that's just extra cute. So I just use my dotting tool to map out the cherries and then I just basically connect the edges into little V's to make a heart. It's an easy peasy way to draw a heart. And then I'm going to cure that and then I'm going to outline these in the same brown chocolate from the gel bottle. I'm using my sissy liner brush. This is the 10 millimeter side. It's one of my favorite brushes. As you all know because I talk about it all the time. Then I'm just extending to draw little stems for my cherries. And then the heart on the pinky isn't going to be a cherry, but it will be just a heart. Okay, I was wearing these nails and one of my clients was like, oh cute nails, like I love the little stickers. And I was like, oh, thank you for thinking they're stickers. They're not. Um, and now I'm drawing a rose. So basically I just did like a rough gloopy shape and then I cured that. I'm going to go in and outline it and that's going to be really what shows that it's a rose. But first I'm adding in some little green leaves on the side. Leaves, not leaves. And I'm using this super, super teeny tiny brush and doing little outlines to add a rose vibe. And I'm going to add some glitter stars. 
all these things were I was looking at um, Esther's Instagram so all these little doodles and stuff were based off of little doodles that accompany Esther in many um, little comics so do some glitter stars doing some highlights on my cherry hearts and then I'm gonna top coat with my Zemi Resin 99.9 in low. Love this top coat. And I love top coating glitter because it just brings it back so beautifully. And then after top coating these nails, we're gonna go into the airbrush. So I'm just using my one air airbrush paint and I'm doing a bit of an aura on this finger with the light pink. And then I'm gonna do an ombre tip on my ring finger there. I love airbrushing stuff. So handy, such a beautiful effect. And then I added a bit of the rose color in and I'm just gonna hit the tip of the ombre there. And then I'm also gonna hit just the center of the aura nail there. Now this airbrush paint doesn't need to be cured, it's an air dry formula, but you wanna treat it as though it is chrome. So you wanna file the edges and then you wanna cap it in. So I'm capping it in with my Izemi Neo Base in the thinner viscosity. I love this um, gel for capping in my airbrush. And I'm using the Daily Charm Jewel Gel and I'm applying a little color changing UV. Look how cute, charm, so cute. Um, and then I'm gonna use the Show Me Clear Artist Gel to apply my little color changing ribbon. And I'm just gonna, once I've cured that on, I'm just gonna add in some extra gel so I don't get it caught on things. The heart changes a lot, the ribbon only changes a little bit. So I'm just capping that in with that same top coat I used before. And then I did the other hand. How effing cute. Okay, yeah, it's giving me off brand, but it's still cute. Like if people don't know who Esther Bunny is, they just think I have this really cute ass set, right? Uh, let me know what you guys think down below and what you want to see from me in the future. And I'll catch you in the next one.